Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I am crafting with some of the latest releases from Cat Scrappiness. This is from the first part of the Be My Valentine release and as you can see here, this particular die really isn't specific to Valentine's Day. So even though the uh, name of the full release is Be My Valentine, definitely don't take that to mean that everything is really heavily themed for Valentine's Day because this particular Sunray backdrop die you could use for any and all occasions. It's got some lovely uh, stitched border detailing all the way around the border but as well through the sun rays and what I've done is I actually die cut this twice once out of a pink inky panel and a second time out of some gray solid color cardstock and now I am just paper piecing die cut and laying the pieces back in but I'm mixing and matching between the two so the first card I made had a gray border with the sun rays and the sort of triangular pieces in between the sun rays were my pink inky panel and this is going to be the uh, reverse of that. So that's one of the things that I really love about dyes like these because there's there's really no waste. You, you can use everything and there's also a lot of different ways to use it too so if you do die cut and laying like I'm doing here you're going to end up with a panel that is very flush because once you're done putting all of these pieces back in it will all be level with each other if the if you prefer to have a little bit of dimension what you can do is you can cut your panel and maybe even cut it a second or a third time, glue them together for a little bit more dimension. And then you can ink up your card base directly and then put the backdrop die cuts right on top. And that way your card base looks recessed because of all of the different layers in that backdrop die. So that's another fun way uh, to use the backdrop die and have a little bit of added dimension. This die set here, super awesome. It's called Say Yes, and it's got this really, really, it's a really large, actually, ring box, and a, I would say kind of a comically large uh, diamond ring as well. Super adorable. You even get the, the dies that will cut mats and layers so that you can sort of have that velvety cushion that's on the inside of super fancy jewelry boxes. I've die cut out of some paper, specialty handmade cotton paper from Tonic Studios. And the bottom section, as you can see there, has a slit in it, both on the mat layer and on the box layer itself. And what's fantastic about that is then you can slip your ring right inside the box and, and have it really look like it's tucked into the box, which I think is a really, really lovely detail. I am just cutting a little bit of glitter card to back my ring so that it has some additional shine to it. The ring itself I've cut out of some sil silver mirror card and and look how big that is. It's it's so darling. You can, as you're assembling this, you can glue the ring directly to the box, which uh, would secure it really nicely. I just thought it would be fun to, to be able to take the ring out. So when I um, give this, I'll probably just leave the ring tucked into the box and just have it be an element that you can take out. If you do plan to do that, then you want to make sure that you don't put glue below that slit so that the ring can still slide in in behind that. So just be careful as you're attaching the box that, that you leave um, some portion of the, the box um, uh, unglued behind there. And then you can just slip your ring right in, which I think is adorable. 
But if you're looking at this and you're thinking, oh, when would I ever use that? Well, engagement cards would be great. Anniversary cards would be great. Announcements would be great, like a wedding or an engagement announcement. But then besides that, taking aside the ring, think about what else you could put into a box. So you could put a lot of uh, little fun critters, little characters popping out of the box. So I think that this is another one, while it seems very heavily themed towards, um, you know, anniversaries, engagements, weddings, etc., Valentine's Day as well. You could use it for other occasions too if you if you just put something else inside the box that's that's sort of uh, popping out. So so I think the I think the the opportunities are are um, you know gonna be uh, plentiful with this one and and it'll be fun to to dream up different things that I can be putting in there because it's a really nice size too. So I feel like a lot of my little characters will would fit really really well. I've just added a um, a really simple sentiment. This is actually from the Simple Sentiment <laughs> stamp and die set, which is great. That's the one that has a lot of sentiments all in one stamp and then a single die that will uh, cut them all out at the same time. And uh, the one, the sentiment that I chose is best day ever. I thought this would be a really nice anniversary card just to um, give to your partner and I, I just think it's really lovely. Um, imagine if you if somebody proposed this way too, and that they gave you a card with this ring. I think that would be super fun too. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.